All right, if you're watching this video, chances are you either just got a Switch or you're planning on getting one very soon. I would say this video, for someone who already has a Switch, might might not be might not be something you really need. You could find something on this list that you need, but this video is made for those who are new to the Switch. Someone who just got their Switch and they're wondering, you know, what next? What do I need to get next? Especially for at home play. I just put out another video about my favorite accessories, the what's in my backpack video for this year. I'm gonna link that one at the end. So if you're looking for a little bit more uh, of an expansive view of things you can get for your Switch, that's gonna be the video for you. This one's gonna be the basics. This is gonna be what you need at your house to make your Nintendo Switch experience the best it can possibly be. Jump into the rest of this video. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to create your own video game? What if you had the knowledge and experience to make that game a reality? And actually take that and turn it into a career with opportunities for all kinds of growth. If that sounds exciting to you, let me tell you about Southern New Hampshire University, who is the sponsor of today's video. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. They feature over 200 degree programs that focus on getting you started or advancing a career that you'll love. I really want to tell you guys about SNHU's game development program. In this program, you're going to learn how to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design. These courses are taught by industry experts, so you're learning from the best. All of SNHU's programs are extremely flexible as well. There are no set class times, so that allows you to work when and where you want. And if you already have college credits, you don't have to start over. SNHU will let you transfer up to 90 credits for your bachelor's degree and up to 12 towards your master's. So if you're ready to switch to a career that you love, go check out this link you're seeing right here on screen. It's also down in the description. It will also be in the pinned comment. And a huge thank you to Southern New Hampshire University for sponsoring this video. All right, let's jump right into this. The first thing, in my opinion, you're gonna need to get once you get your Switch to make your home play experience the best it can possibly be is a Pro Controller. Now, does it have to be the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller? No, it does not. If you're asking me, I do believe this is the best one. This is probably one of the more high quality controllers you're gonna be able to get. It is made by Nintendo. It has all the features that, that you're gonna want in a Pro Controller. It's gonna have the same HD rumble as the Joy-Con, so that's really the only place you're gonna be able to get the HD rumble is in a Pro Controller. There are no other controllers that have that type of rumble. Lots of them have rumble, but it, it isn't quite the same as HD rumble. Not a ton of games really take advantage of HD Rumble, but the ones that do, it is worth having. A few of the big ones that I can think off the top of my head, uh, there's a lot of stuff in Luigi's Mansion 3 with HD Rumble, there's some stuff in Mario Odyssey, but if you don't want this controller, there are different options. One of my favorite options, other than the actual Pro Controller, is the King Kong 2 Pro from Gully Kit. I'm gonna have links to all this stuff down in the description, they are Amazon affiliate links, so if you click on those, does help me, helps the channel, so thank you. This is a good one, also not very cheap. If you're looking for something that's pretty good, but uh, not gonna break the bank, I would suggest looking at something by probably Power A or PDP. Those controllers are still licensed, so you're gonna be able to get really cool designs on them, like Zelda, Mario. But if you wanna check out some other controllers, I'm gonna go ahead and link a video right here that's gonna give you uh, what I consider the best controllers for the Nintendo Switch. You can check that out after this video. Don't click on that now. Come back to it after the video. But a Pro Controller is something you're definitely going to want. Okay, so the next thing you might want to get, and this is not going to be for everybody, but if you have multiple places where you like to play your Switch, and maybe you don't want to play in handheld mode while you're laying in bed, maybe you still want to play on the TV, you're going to want to get an extra dock. Now, you can get an extra dock that's just like the one that comes with the Switch. Actually, if you bought the Animal Crossing Switch, you can buy Animal Crossing docks on Nintendo's website. You can buy the regular dock, you can get the Animal Crossing one. You're not gonna be able to get this one, but that's the beauty of having more than one dock. You can, you can really just make them look like whatever you want. But there are other options when it comes to docks. And I know a lot of people don't like the third-party dock option, but I honestly have not had any issue with it whatsoever. You can get a full-size dock 
from Nintendo. You can use a charger that comes from Nintendo for the Switch. You can get a third party dock and if you're using that same type of charger, chances are you're gonna be okay. Or you could go another way completely and you can get something like this. Believe it or not, this is an actual dock. You can plug in USB-C to USB-C to the Switch right there. HDMI to the TV, it's got an extra USB-A port in case you wanna charge a controller. Plug in some type of accessory. It's got all the same plugins as a dock. I've been using these a decent amount. They're, they're, they're pretty good. I've got a few of these things. I've never had a problem with any of them. I'll go ahead and link a few of these down below. These are a good option. The regular dock is a good option. There are other third-party docks that are a fine option. As long as you are using the charger that comes with the Switch or another one that you buy separately that is from Nintendo, you're gonna be just fine. So I'll link some down below, but yeah, a dock, having an extra one so you don't have to move that around. The Switch is very portable. The dock, the dock really isn't. But it is nice to just have a dock on the TVs in your house so you can just take your Switch out, move rooms, put it back in and keep doing what you're doing. Now the next one is for those of you who still wanna play your Switch at home, but you know, you don't have to have it on a TV. You wanna play handheld. The Switch itself is not that comfortable. It's just not. Holding the Joy-Cons with nothing on them, they're flat, they're small. It's gonna give you cramps, especially if you've got, I mean, if you don't have child-sized small hands, you're gonna get cramps. The best way to not have to deal with that is to get a grip. Now there are several grips out there. You can go on Amazon and find a grip pretty easily. There's lots of different kinds, but I am going to go ahead and suggest two. The first one is from Satisfy. That'll be linked below. That's a decent option. It's not my favorite. I do like the Satisfy grip. They have one for the Switch, the Switch Lite. They have a new one that fits the OLED and the regular Switch, but my choice of grip is definitely the Neo Grip by Skull & Co. They actually have a few different grips, but they all fit this same style of grip. This is the smaller one. They have two other size options. They basically look like this. You can interchange them. They fit right on the back. They have them in all different colors. You can get whatever color you want to match whatever Joy-Con you want. If they make a Joy-Con in that color, they make a grip like this in that color. And the good thing about this one is you can buy you can buy it all in separate pieces. So if, if you get new Joy-Cons and just want the colors to match, you can just buy these as the sets individually. You don't have to buy a whole nother grip if you don't want, so that's nice. They do make it easy to upgrade. I will have a link to Skull & Co's site down there. I do have a 10% off code you can use if you go to the site. But as far as a grip, that's the one, that's the one that I, I definitely recommend. Satisfy is very good as well, if that's the way you want to go. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. For me, it is Skull & Co. I, I, do, I do like that one a little bit better. So another thing that I think you should definitely have as a home setup for your Nintendo Switch is probably at least one other set of Joy-Cons. Now, this is going to be for several reasons. One, as we know, Joy-Cons drift. You know, it's, it's just something that happens. The sticks can be replaced pretty easily, but not everybody wants to just you know, open up your Joy-Cons and switch out the sticks. So it does help to maybe, you know, switch your Joy-Cons out a little bit so you're not using the same pair all the time. I have a lot of Joy-Cons, so I've really never experienced drift at all. That's not even really the main reason why I think you should have another set of Joy-Cons. There are certain games on the Nintendo Switch that do require you to have one Joy-Con, that's how you play the game, with one Joy-Con. Uh, the older Mario Party game is that way. It actually came in a bundle with an extra set of Joy-Cons, which was really nice. I don't even know if you can buy that at this point, but it's not the only game that's like that. Another one that's like that now, Switch Sports, that's probably going to be a popular one for a lot of people, especially, you know, people who are playing a lot at home with their families. If you want to bowl, it is really nice to have an extra set of Joy-Cons so you can have four people there with their own Joy-Con. Same for the soccer and a lot of the other games on there. You're going to need a single Joy-Con. It's, it's really nice to be able to have four players at one time. I will admit they are expensive. There are Joy-Con alternatives that are pretty good. We still have not made a video on all the Joy-Con alternatives. If you want me to make a video on that, leave, leave a like on this video. That will let me know that you wanna see that video. You know what, if this video is, is really helping you at all in any way, leave a like, I would, I would definitely appreciate that. But there are different Joy-Cons, there are a lot of them that do the same exact things as these. I'll link some of the cheaper options below. But I think the final thing, and this is a very, very easy one, but it's one a lot of people overlook. I think the final of the five things that you really need to have a good experience with your Nintendo Switch, whether it's actually at home or anywhere, is a micro SD card. You really need 
to get a memory card. Even if you get the OLED, you're only talking about 64 gigs of onboard storage. If it's either the other two, it's only 32 gigs. You're basically downloading a game, maybe two, depending on the size. And I know not everyone is like this, but I am someone who is all digital. I actually bought a one terabyte memory card, which is definitely not, not something you need to do at all. For a normal person, 128 gigabytes, maybe 256, something like that will be absolutely plenty. But if you do want to go for the one terabyte, you're never going to have to worry about anything. I have so many games on my Switch. On that one terabyte memory card, it's still not full. So you, you have a lot of room on something like that. You won't have to switch anything out. And for me, especially when I'm playing at home, when you're sitting on the couch and you decide, okay, I'm playing Breath of the Wild, but I, I want to play Splatoon now. It's just way easier to be able to go back to the menu, go over to Splatoon, play that digital game instead of getting up, changing out the cartridge, sitting back down, you know? It's not that big of a deal to do, but it is much, much more convenient to be able to have all these on your Switch, not have to worry about taking any cartridges out. If you are interested in going all digital, I have a video on that. I'll link that one at the end too, but guys, that that's really all I got for this one. As I said, there are going to be links to all this stuff down in the description you can find all of it on amazon most of it even the skull and co stuff but if you're gonna if you're gonna look at the skull and co stuff use that link down there and again i want to thank the sponsor of today's video southern new hampshire university thank you so much for sponsoring the video guys that is all i have for this one as always thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like make sure you are subscribed we'll see you in the next one